Hello everyone. In previous video we discussed uh, different forms of indeterminate limits and in this video my aim is to actually discuss some algebraic simplifications for solving indeterminate limits and also undefined limits. The first approach that I'm going to look at is the factoring approach. For factoring approach, I'm going to discuss one example. As you can see in here, we have the limit of x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. As you know, the first approach for solving any limit is to plug in the value that we are approaching to it. And here we are approaching to 2 and therefore we have to plug in 2 instead of x. Therefore it's going to be 2 minus 2 over 2 squared minus 4 and the, the result is going to be 2 minus 2 is 0 2 squared minus 4 again is 0 and as you see in here this is an indeterminate form of uh, limits therefore we have to actually somehow solve it and the first thing comes to mind is using basically algebraic simplifications and as you can see in here we have x squared minus 4 which is actually the difference of 2 squared so difference of 2 squared and the difference of 2 squared is uh, basically in the form of x squared minus a squared and we can actually simplify it in the form of x minus a x plus a and in the problem we have x squared minus 4 which is going to be x minus 2 x plus 2 now instead of x squared minus 4 we can plug in x minus 2 times x plus 2 therefore the limit will be converted to the form of x approaching to 2 x minus 2 over x minus 2 times x plus 2 now it's time to actually to do the factory and you can see we have x minus 2 times x plus 2 and we can cancel now x minus 2 on top and on bottom and the answer actually the result is going to be the limit of x approaching to 2 1 over x plus 2 therefore it's going to be if you plug in 2 there now it's going to be 1 2 plus 2 therefore the answer is 1 over 4 as you see for for this problem what we did was actually first we plugged in the value that we were approaching to it and then we noticed okay it's an indeterminate form which is 0 over 0 and for solving this problem we have to somehow use uh, algebraic simplifications and the first thing comes to mind is factoring and then canceling so what we did we simplified what we had on the bottom part of this fraction and then once we simplified we could cancel out the bottom and the top part and we finally got the, the limit in the form that we can plug in the value instead of x and we can get a number at the end as the solution of this problem in most cases when you are dealing with rational function actually the fractional function you have to think of like using uh, factoring in most cases when you are dealing with rational functions in your exam in your assignments you will see that this is going to be an indeterminate form of limit let's look at the second approach uh, the second approach is called uh, combining fraction method and with combining fraction method we basically means we have to get the common uh, denominator for this function let's uh, start solving this problem if we plug in x uh, when we actually approaching to 2 if we plug in 2 there the first approach it's going to be 1 over 4 times 2 minus 8 
minus 1 over and then 2 squared minus 4 which is going to be at the end 1 over 0 minus 1 over 0 which is both of them actually are in in undefined so uh, basically we are now having two terms that are undefined but we have to use some techniques to make this uh, two fraction in the form that can be solved in terms of limits and then this undefined form will result in a defined answer at the end so now what we can do is uh, actually getting the common denominator let's move forward with the problem solution so it's going to be 1 over 4 now i'm going to get the factoring of uh, the uh, the bottom part of the first fraction so it's going to be 4 times x minus 2 the limit and then it's going to be 1 over x minus 2 x minus 4 and if you want to get the common denominator for this we will see like the first fraction should be multiplied by x sorry it's x plus 2 so the first fraction should be multiplied by x plus 2 and the second fraction should be multiplied by 4 the bottom and top both so what we will have at the end it's going to be the limit of x plus 2 over 4x minus 2 x plus 2 minus 4 over 4x minus 2 x plus 2 and then x is approaching to 2 x is approaching to 2 so now we have the common denominator between this two uh, rational function and we can actually uh, subtract the, the top part therefore this is going to be the limit of x plus 2 minus 4 over 4x minus 2x plus 2 and x is approaching to 2 so now if x is approaching to 2 if we uh, actually continue the simplification it's going to be the limit of x minus 2 over 4x minus 2x plus 2 and x is approaching to 2 if we plug in now if we plug in x equals to 2 instead of x it's going to be again 0 over 0 but it's time to to cancel the terms that are similar on top and the bottom and the, the similar part is x minus 2 as you can see in here so we we can write this limit as now 1 over 4 x plus 2 and x is approaching to 2 so at the end the answer is going to be 1 over 4 2 plus 2 so it's going to be equal to 1 over 16 so what we did in this problem initially uh, the problem was in the form of like undefined solution and then we use the uh, actually the uh, the common denominator in order to find the actual the, the limit and after a few uh, simple algebraic operation we obtain the new form of the fractional function and then we plug in x equal to instead of x notice that in that case even again the uh, we are dealing with an indeterminate limit so we, we notice again we can cancel a term which actually are similar which are the same on the bottom and top and we cancelled those terms and then we plug in again the, the value that we're approaching and finally we obtain the value of the limit which is 1 over 16 the the third approach 
is rationalization method for with the rationalization method basically we make the nominator and denominator of an expression uh, actually rational by using the properties of conjugate pair so as let's look at this example we have like a fraction function rational function and on top we have a square root of 1 plus x minus 1 and the bottom actually in the denominator we have x and x is approaching to 0 if we plug in so the first thing if we plug in 0 in here it's going to be a square root of 1 plus 0 minus 1 over 0 which will result in 0 over 0 again this is an indeterminate form and now it's time because as we are going to use the rationalization method it's time to use the the conjugate pair and for conjugate pair when we are dealing with that we have to multiply for the rational function we have to multiply both bottom and the top part to the conjugate pair of the function that we want actually to multiply so here we have a S square root of 1 plus x minus 1 over x therefore what we have to do is the limit of x approaching to 0 1 plus x minus 1 over x times the, the conjugate pair is going to be 1 plus x plus 1 over 1 plus x again plus one which is the conjugate part of the uh, uh, pair of the no nominator that we have in here so then after this actually having this new form it's going to be x 1 plus x minus 1 over x times the square root of 1 plus x plus 1 so this is going to be x over x so let me write down the limit here don't forget the limit and x approaching to 0 and then again here the limit x over x times a square root of 1 plus x plus 1 and x approaching to 0 again if you plug in 0 what you will see is going to be 0 over 0 but we have two same term on the top and bottom part so we can actually cancel those terms so this is going to be uh, cancelled therefore the limit is going to be converted into the form of x approaching to 0 1 over S square root of 1 plus x plus 1 now we plug in 0 in here and the answer is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 plus 0 plus 1 and it's going to be 1 over 2 so what we did here we actually had S square root of 1 plus x minus 1 over x and then in order to solve this problem after we notice that it is an indeterminate form we multiply it with the conjugate pair and after multiplication we got a new function in which again it was resulting to uh, basically an indeterminate form but this time we cancel the same term on the top and the bottom and the bottom part of the fraction and finally again plug in the value that we are approaching to it and we found that the final answer of this limit okay through this actually uh, three different problems that we solved uh, we used uh, three different approaches so the first one was factoring and in most cases when we are dealing with rational function and which is resulting in indeterminate form we have mostly we have to use the factoring the second approach was uh, basically uh, combining functions methods in which we use the getting the common denominator again in it is related to rational function and the third uh, 
method that we looked was rationalization method. In rationalization method, mostly we are dealing with a square root and uh, it can be in the form of rational function or it can be in the form of just an expression. And in both cases, we have to multiply the function with its conjugate pair. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please subscribe or channel.